there's another saying that fit my friend the bruiser. And it's that old saying, live by the sword and die by the sword. Really, he lived by the sword. Frank did not lack any ingredient to being a star, and that's the reason he was a mega star and a legendary star. Bruce Brody was one of the most vicious men I've ever seen in a wrestling ring. Tough as nails, wild as a buck. You wrestling, you never knew what to expect. Bruce Brody was the wave of a new era. One of the great memorable characters that no creative team, no booking committee, no uh, brain trust of creative guys could ever manufacture. He was an original. He was a real big name that, uh, you know, like in, in every place that he went, you know, he was a main eventer instantly. In the ring, he was a violent man. If he didn't like you, he'd beat you to death. And he had a, had a reputation for being really rough. He really intimidated not only the audience, but the, it, it looked like the people he was wrestling to, whoever was with him, you know. Bro, he didn't care. He did what he wanted, held him up, and, and they hated him. But he drew money. So he was a rebel. Not many guys would do that. There's a few guys who would argue, but they wouldn't go quite as far as Frank would. That was his problem. He was not afraid to speak up. And that's why he was known as the rebel and difficult to do business with. He embodied not only in the ring, but out of the ring, that outlaw spirit that professional wrestling, to me, is really about. And in good and bad ways, but he was like, you did not mess with him. For a big man who could do what he was doing and move and had that it, that, you know, that it factor, and he commanded your attention, and he was, and he was good. The greatest independent guy, for sure, you know. I mean, he, he made a really good living out of uh, being an independent and catering to nobody. He was a legend. Sooner or later, something's gonna happen that you ain't gonna have no control over.